you've been around this Warriors team just as much as anybody around the league who is covering them. I'm really curious to get your insight and perspective here. I think Steph's legacy, it, it's secure. It does not need a finals MVP to put any sort of cherry on top of it, but it has been a talking point leaning up to today. So what sort of impact do you think that winning finals MVP would have on the way that we view Steph Curry? I agree with you. But his biggest haters mm. and the people that love him the most feel different. When he didn't get it a couple years ago, the biggest haters were talking, but the people that loved him the most were mad. Why didn't you vote for him instead of Iguodala, Mark? Why didn't you vote for him instead of Durant, Mark? And you hear that. So I think if he gets it, it shuts up the haters and it quiets the lovers. <clears throat> but he don't need it. He's a three-time MVP. I mean, three-time NBA champ, two-time MVP, eight-time All-Star, right. 25. He good for me. Well, it's one of those things, too, but there's always someone who says, well, what about the hardware? Whether you're talking about championships or finals MVPs, Ryan. Look, I think if you asked Steph and you said, Steph, have you played your best basketball in these finals that you've played in? He would probably admit he could play better, mm. that he has played better at other points in his career, especially in the couple of finals that they lost. But you better, if you don't like Steph and you don't want to regard him as a top whatever player, you better hope he doesn't get that MVP because that's all you got against him. We just, you know, showed some of those graphics of some of those short lists he's on. There's, there's some lists are even shorter. Like, you're comparing him to Wilt. Wilt didn't have three titles. A lot of guys didn't have four titles. He gets this title and has four titles, two MVPs. We're talking, like, the elite of the, of the elite. And so if you want to use that against him, the lack of the finals MVP, hold on tight to that because it's the only thing you got left. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kendrick. Can, can we pump the brakes for a second? All right, listen. No. <laughs> Nobody is saying that Steph is not validated, right? Nobody, nobody. is question. I'm not. Nobody's. I, I never heard nobody really question that if Steph Curry is an all-time great. Listen, the man resume is longer than the Chick-fil-A line, okay? But when you're in the conversation of greats, guess what? The same conversation, like when you think about LeBron James, you think about Steph Curry. LeBron James has accomplished so much, but people still pick at him, and he's still striving to win awards, accomplishments, and you want to be in that top tier. So if I'm Steph Curry, not that I need it, but he should want to win the finals MVP. Why not? I mean, why not go sit at a different table than everybody else by securing that? Not saying that he's not a top 15 player of all time, because he is, in my opinion. But again, I repeat, if you look at the top 10 yep. players, of all time, all of those guys have the final MVP award. And all I'm saying is, is that if Steph want to take that leap and jump into that conversation, I think it would be great for him to win the finals MVP trophy. Not he should have been it or he, he could have been if somebody would have voted. No, actually have the trophy. Well, he is the odds on favor to take home that elusive first finals MVP trophy. Minus 110. That's according to Caesar Sportsbook. Jason Tatum right on his heels at plus 180 following his teammate Jalen Brown and then Clay and Draymond. Draymond? So, yeah, Draymond's in there. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll just ask. Let's play pick em. <laughs> Brian Winhorst, who's winning finals MVP? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I had somebody tell me this week that uh, Andrew Wiggins was 50 to 1. Oh, my. And I say, I can't say that's a horrible bet because there are circumstances in which you could see that. There are circumstances in which you could see Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart potentially is one of the most important players in this series. If he's able to have some great games against Steph, he could be a candidate. I think it's going to be a very tight series. And I think one of the things that can make this series so enjoyable is that we have five or six players whose individual play could make the difference. And I really hope that we don't know who the MVP is going into game six or going into game seven, because I would like to see that type of series, and I think the, the recipe is there. And so it is out of respect for all of these players and the game that I can honestly look at you and say, I don't know who's going to do it. Per perk? I was going to say Perkdrick, and then it got uh, all No, it, nah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> look, I'm going with Jason Tatum. I think the stage is set for him to actually be the finals MVP. Again, I'm going to go 
the route that he had to take to get here and the players that he had to go through. You talk about beating Kevin Durant in the first round, then going through Giannis Antetokounmpo, then going through Jimmy Butler. Now you're here on the stage is set for you to battle out Steph Curry, and he's ready for the moment. See, the thing is about Jason Tatum, what I noticed about him, yes, he's one of the, one of the elite scorers in the game today, but his facilitating, right? I look at the nine assists that he had, I believe, in it was game four in Miami, almost not sure triple-double. So I'm looking at Jason Tatum, and again, I'm actually rooting for Jason Tatum for the simple fact that I came out, I gave him a speech, and if he go ahead and secure that Finals MVP trophy, it will be one of the greatest individual runs in postseason history. Mark? What my bay people say. <laughs> they it oh, ain't they too sleeping many. It's a lot of selfie <laughs> fans out there. <laughs> I picked the Warriors. I'm going with Curry. Um... He has to be special for them to win this championship. And the thing, this is what I'm going to read you, this quote, Marcus Smart. So if you're going to be out there, no matter what you're in, what pain you're in, you can't let it affect you. His injury makes me nervous. Steph had 30 on him the first time they played in Boston, five threes, without Marcus Smart being injured. He hasn't had a lot of refs off. So if Marcus Smart is less than 100%, I think Steph Curry is going to go wild and he'll end up being well, MVP. Look, I wouldn't read too much into that. Let me tell you why. Like 45 minutes before the game, they come get you out the locker room and the doctor say, come here. And then he had his needle, he had his shot ready yeah. for you, and he say, pull him down, go ahead. And, and then it's all good. When you won I'm your first one, and y'all played all them game sevens. And in 2010, who was hurt at the end? Yeah, I know. I, I get that. But I was playing hurt. a lot. They playing a I lot. I was hurt. I was not available. There was a lot of basketball being played in well, 2008. Well, I mean, here's you know, what I know. When two men and disagree, hey, right, when two men disagree, the next word is bet. <laughs> here's what I know. <laughs> I know that Steph essentially said bet at the end of the Western Conference Finals when he was awarded the bet. Western Conference Finals MVP. He joked during the trophy ceremony, oh, they're happy now. I have one. Well, he wants a little bit more, so I wouldn't bet against uh, Steph Curry. A little bias up here for these two. We're in I the bay. The what bay. can I say? <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.